can do division also in more beautiful way. Again, when we go to the data sheet, when we go to the instruction set, where is this division instruction? What is its subcode? Here you can see div A B. Can you able to see div A B? The upcode is 84. Let us do this. Instead of Mali A B, I can do we can do div A B. Okay, div A B. So let us do the simple thing for our convenience. Let us do the single thing. Div A B, let us just let me go back. And let us compile build and check for zero error. Yes, it is zero error. Come back to the debug window. In the debug window, same 2021. Let us have in 20. Let us have five. Let us have um, so let us have six and let us have two here. Let us see what happens. Accumulator contains. 6 b register contains to div a b what div a b do 6 by 2 a by b so 6 divided by 2 that is the quotient is 3 so that quotient has to be moved to the 22nd memory location and the remainder has to move to the 23rd memory location fantastic right similarly i am resetting this i am going for 8 by 2 8 by 2 means what 4 let me reset it. 8 will come to the accumulator. 2 will come to B register. 8 divided by 2. The answer is 4. So content of accumulator is 4. The quotient will be in accumulator. The remainder will be in B register. So quotient has go to the next 22nd mayor location. The remainder will go to 23rd mayor location, which is 0. So A divided by 2. Answer will be 5. Resetting. Quotient is 5. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. 12 divided by 2. C. 12 divided by 2. The answer is 6. E. 14 divided by 2. The answer is 7. Reset. 14 divided by 2. Answer is 7. 10 means what? 10 means 16. Hexadecimal 10. 10 means 16. Resetting. 16 divided by 2. The answer is 8. Now, quite interesting. 3 divided by 2. 3 divided by 2. When 3 divided by 2, the quotient is 1 and the remainder is also 1. Oh, then you will confuse which is quotient and which is remainder. Let me say 9 divided by 2. The quotient is 4 and remainder is 1. 9 divided by 2, the quotient is 4 and remainder is 1. Let us execute the first line. Mo a comma 20 h. And under the memory location 20 is coming to the accumulator. And under the memory location 20 is 9. So 9 has reached the accumulator. Now the second line we are supposed to execute. Canada of the memory location 21 will reach the B register. Canada of the memory location 21 is 2. 21 will reach the B register. Yes. Canada of the memory location 21 is 2. So 2 has reached the B register. Now we are doing div A B division. So when you divide the A by B, what will be the answer? 9 divided by 2 is the quotient is 2, 4, sir, 8, and remainder is 1. Quotient will be there in the accumulator, and the remainder 1 will be in B register. We are expecting. 4 is in accum 4 in accumulator. We are expecting 4 in accumulator. We are expecting 4 in accumulator and 1 in B register. We are expecting 4 in accumulator and 1 in B register because B register contains the remainder. A register contains the quotient. Let me do the single step. Yes. Quotient in the accumulator and remain in the B register. So we can store the quotient and remainder. Here. So 4, 9 divided by 2. The quotient is 4. That is 2, 4, so 8, and the remainder is 1, just 9. Again, 11 divided by 11 means B. B divided by 2. You can see reset, single step. B divided means 2, 5, so 10, the remainder 1. 2, 5, so 10, remainder 1. Something like this. It's quite interesting. So this is the division part which we have to celebrate. Here in the division, we'll do one magic, right? The big disaster in digital is a divide by zero exception. Unfortunately, I am going to make this divisor as zero. Any number divided by zero is infinity. Infinity cannot be processed by digital programmable devices like microprocessor and microcontroller. So it has to notify some error has happened in the division program. You can see. Now I have reset it. So move a comma 20 h. The current of the memory location 20 has to move to accumulator. The current of the memory location 20 is b. So b will reach the accumulator, right? 
yes b has reached the accumulator then current of memory location 21 have to move to the b register current of the memory location 21 is 0 0 that 0 0 has to reach the b register now the climax divide a b then b divided by 0 the answer is infinity so it confuses and a will never get disturbed b will never get disturbed but something will be disturbed here also our hero overflow flag will notify that there is a divide by zero exception error has happened fantastic right see how overflow flag is helping us in all possible ways so if a positive number becomes negative number during subtraction overflow flags will sets and notifies if the negative number becomes positive number while doing subtraction overflow flag sets and notifies when we do multiplication if the product is greater than 8 bit overflow flag sets and notifies when we do division if there is any divide by zero error while computation if there is any divide by zero error comes it is also being notified with the help of overflow because b divided by zero it is a big disaster in a digital systems hence it has to notify that there is a divide by zero error has happened while performing this division operation you can see after executing this div a b you can see the overflow flag will set and notifies that there is a divide by zero error has happened doing single step there is no quotient there is no remainder all the data are as it is but only thing is overflow flag was set and notifies that there is a divide by zero error so it is up to the programmer to look at everything okay say for example you can see same thing b divided by 12 i'll do b when i divide by 0 b divided by 0 what will be there you can see cannot divide by 0 so this is an exemption notification so how can uh, the intel core i5 says that i cannot divide by 0 it has to divide, no, it has to do the infinity. No, infinity cannot be processed, right? By a digital programmable device, right? Only if the count is finite, then only our Intel Core i7, i8, i9, i10, they can do. Now, any number divided by zero, the value is infinite. So, this is the big disaster for the device. So, it hangs. So, not even 8051, even uh, the Dell computer that what we have in our campus, that is also saying that, okay, I cannot divide by zero. It need not be hexadecimal, any, even a decimal, everything, right? So you cannot do anything, right? You can see you cannot do anything, right? It is showing error. Only you have to clear it. And then we have to go to decimal. And we can give 12 divided by 0. In decimal, if you, you do 12 divided by 0, the answer will be cannot divide by 0. So any divide, if there is divide by 0, 0 comes means, then it is a big disaster. Okay. So that's all for today.